In this video, we're gonna go over the top five problems we found with the 10th generation Ford F-150. Don't forget to go to 1AAuto.com either for all your parts and tool needs to fix this puppy. So you hear that noise? Yeah, you guessed it. That is the exhaust manifold ticking, that slight little t -t 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 -t. Now don't get me wrong, there's a little bit of engine noise in there too. But with a keen ear, you can hear that exhaust tick, 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 tick. And these are notorious for it. And either the manifold is cracked, the exhaust manifold, or warped, or the studs are broken. This one is a true warped one. And see that black soot, that line? That is that gasket, totally absorbing all the black soot from the exhaust coming out. And that manifold is warped, so that should be replaced. Number two is the DPFE sensor, which stands for Differential Pressure Feedback Electronic. And it has to do with the EGR system. So it's located over here on the driver's side of the intake, right here. It's electronically hooked up to the PCM and it takes the measurements of the exhaust flow that's going out and it tells the PCM whether to open or close the EGR basically by vacuum demand. And a lot of these melt. If the converters get clogged or get defective, these hoses actually melt and the heat rises right up to the plastic little circuit board in that DPFE sensor and it melts it. And you'll get a code. Of course you get a code, but don't just replace the hoses and the sensor. Double check that exhaust because it's more than likely that converter's clogged. Number three. That's right, we're way back here at the differential and there's a reason for that. These puppies like to howl. Yes, and there is a technical service bulletin on them and the technical service bulletin is to rebuild them with a new differential bearing kit. So if it does make that noise, and that would be if you're turning in a, in a parking lot, like in slow turns, you might hear a howling, like a whoa, 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 coming from the rear diff. Or if you've been driving on the highway for like a good hour, and when you get off, you've noticed this howling noise. Well, that's what it is back here. The clutch kits are all getting replaced because they have an update on them. But you want to check that fluid first, because if that fluid is leaking, well, we know that will definitely cause a problem. Number four has to do with the heater not working. So, but it is working. That's kind of funny, right? But you turn the heat on, you can feel heat coming maybe from the floor, but it won't come out the vents. It won't come out the defrost. Or you have the heater on, but no heat's coming out at all. Blower's working. Has to do with the blend door. That actuator and blend door, huge problems on this Ford. The actual actuator sometimes freezes up or it cracks that blend door so it turns but the blend door stays locked in cold air. No heat will come out. And that's located under the dash. Pretty common problem, but it is fixable. Number five. That's right, you guessed it. You're probably wondering, when is she gonna talk about the number one thing with these Ford Triton engines? Well, it's a spark plug, my friend, and they blow out, right out. And everyone that's ever owned one probably had it happen to them. The reasoning for it is the manufacturer made the cylinder head spark plug holes actually too big, or maybe they were the right bore, but the thread they made was not a deep thread. So when you put a spark plug in there, it lasted for about maybe 50, 60K, and boy, all of a sudden you hear this pop, and it was loud, massive noise, and a loss of power, and engine light comes on, starts flashing. So when that cylinder blows out, this is the threads that get wiped out of the cylinder head right there, and you end up having to put a threaded insert in right in there. So you bore that hole out bigger, clean it up, and you hammer this threaded sleeve right inside there on that cylinder head. And then the spark plug can go back in and you go right down the road. So that wraps up our top five problems we found with the 10th generation F-150. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. It turns on all your notifications and you won't miss any future videos.